It's a graduation ceremony of the senior course 45 of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji in Kaduna State. A total of 291 officers who distinguished themselves in character and learning are said to be let out after 48 grueling weeks. President Bola Tinubu arrives accompanied by the Kaduna State Governor, Senator Ubasani, and the National Security Advisor, Nuru Badu. Also in attendance are all the service chiefs, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Defense, as well as members of the diplomatic corps. Among the graduating officers are 264 officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces, 12 civilians from ministries and agencies, as well as 15 others from allied African countries and Asia. The increasing number of international participations for our courses in this college it's a clear attestation to, that our graduates are living up to the expectations of the armed forces of their respective countries. Applauding the international composition of graduates and participants in the course at the college, President Tinubu emphasizes the urgent need for collaboration among member states to ensure peace in the Lake Chad region. This new generation of threats demand that African countries work together as never before. In this regard, the multinational collaboration of Nigeria, Cameroon, the Niger Republic, and Chad to bring peace to the Chad region is an example that must be improved by all means and replica replicated whenever it's necessary. The president also pledges his administration's commitment to deploring the full range of state power to ensure the adequate security of people and their possessions. As commander-in-chief, I have given myself the following charge to deploy the entire machinery of state power to ensure security of our people and property in a just and democratic society. Under my predecessor, the armed forces worked tirelessly towards necessary reform to enhance combat, effectiveness, and operational capability. We must now pick the pace. The president's speech underscores the significance of strengthening the capabilities of the African armed forces and other allied nations, while acknowledging the dynamic and evolving nature of security threats. You have been found worthy in character and learning. Congratulations. Some officers who distinguished themselves during the course were then you, honored sir. with merit awards. Some of the graduates say they're eager to put their experiences to the service of their country. Uh, so far, so good. We've learned a lot of things. We're better and ready to be launched into the field in order to help our nation to provide security for all the citizens of this nation. It will help us to work in different aspects in both in our country as well as abroad and we can fulfill the objectives of our military as well as the various uh, other militaries in the world. The Command and Staff College prides itself in preparing military officers for higher responsibilities, particularly in the face of current and emerging security threats. These officers are expected to bring all they have learned here to bear in protecting the country and its citizens.